We're currently standing in the main building at the Australian Synchrotron in, in Melbourne in Victoria. Uh, and we're really privileged to be here actually. This is one of only 50 synchrotrons in the world. It's Australia's uh, largest piece of scientific equipment and one of our most significant pieces of scientific infrastructure. Behind me we have the, the linear accelerator and the storage ring, so that's where the electrons are produced and stored, accelerated very close to the speed of light. Uh, and of course behind me we also have uh, some magnets which generate the x-rays from those electrons and those x-rays travel down into the experimental hutch where we do the work. GRDC have funded three projects and those three projects are all centred around soil and trying to understand how can we rejuvenate soil, how can we boost soil productivity to improve plant growth and improve profitability for Australia's grain producers. So this experiment that we're working on at the moment is looking at phosphorus fertilisers uh, and how different phosphorus fertilisers in different soils from across Australia respond. So we're looking at what is the best fertiliser to apply in different soils. Australia is a very old continent and being a, a, an old landscape it means that our soils are usually with low fertility. So we have to uh, support the growth of plants through the use of fertilizers. And fertilizers represent a, a very large part of the cost of production. And so maximizing the efficiency of fertilizers is really important for farmers. Well, after carrying out the experiment at University of South Australia, we then um, bring what's called a DGT device, which is the soil sampling device that we um, deploy on soils. So most commercial DGTs are only sort of one to two centimetres um, in diameter. So we've developed a much larger device up to about 15 centimetres in length. And we've been able to deploy that on soil cores that we've collected from the field. We bring that device here to the synchrotron and we then map um, that device to look at the distribution of nutrients um, in that sampling device to see where the fertiliser has moved in the soil and how it's dissolved or if it's dissolved at all. So all three of us work together um, in terms of our projects, they're quite overlapping and so the soil cores that have been collected in um, Queensland were first analysed by those researchers um, to look at the root architecture and then sent to South Australia and then back to here to the Synchrotron. So it's a really collaborative um, project that we've undertaken. So the things that we do now, we couldn't have done five years ago. There was simply there weren't the techniques available then. Uh, through improvement uh, in, uh, in uh, nuclear physics uh, and in detectors and in, uh, in, uh, in optics. Now we have techniques that can allow us to probe uh, the minute details at scales that are relevant to the field. Root growth is quite mysterious in many ways. They refer to, to roots as the hidden half of plants and they, they call it the hidden half because we actually can't see roots. Here at the Australian Synchrotron we can do uh, techniques, we can do analyses which are simply not possible anywhere else in Australia and indeed in many instances not possible anywhere else in the entire world. And so the idea of these three projects has been to link through to other GRDC researchers to field experiments across Australia and to link with them and value add by, by building upon the great work that has already been done across Australia to examine soil properties and their plant responses so that we can better understand these existing GRDC investments uh, and build upon them.